If you want to learn how to get all the records you want on Record Store Day, then continue watching this video to find out all the tips and tricks you need to know. What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ollie and I like records, music, everything like that. So if you're interested in any of those things, do consider hitting the subscribe button down below. Let's crack on with the video. So Record Store Day is a day that happens once a year. Last year it happened th over three dates. This year it's happening over two dates. And it is two days where they release loads of records of exclusive pressings, limited editions, all of that. It allows record stores to stock all of these records just to encourage people to go to their local record store and support their local businesses. It's an amazing day and an awesome atmosphere. And I try and go every single year. This is the third year that I would have been and there's always stuff I'd like so I talk I will talk about that in this video. The two dates this year are the 12th of June and the 17th of July. This video I'm going to go through all the tips and tricks I need to help you get everything you want to get on record store day so let's get into it so tip number one if you're new to vinyl collecting and you haven't been to a record store day yet then go on to google and just search the name of your town and then the word record store this will allow you to find what your local record store is and then you can see whether they're actually hosting record store day some record stores don't choose to take part for whatever reason too much uh, money to commit or whatever so you might not find that your most local record store is actually participating in record store Day. I'm sure there's going to be a record store near you that you can get to for record store day. So tip number one, Google what your local record store is. Tip number two is to actually print out a list that you can write down all of your want list for record store day. So this is what I did last year. My local record store made a little list that you could write in, write your name, all the stuff you want to get. So when I went to record store day, I literally showed the guy in there the list he helped me, he got everything I wanted. And that's why last year I pretty much got everything I wanted. So I'll actually link, I think they've done the same thing this year. So I'll actually link the list down below. You can print off the list and just write in the releases that you want to get. So that brings me to tip three, which is obviously make sure you check the Record Store Day website. Look for what's coming out on the two dates. So if you're looking at the 12th of June, look on that date write down all your release wants. I'll take you through my releases now. Firstly, Amy Winehouse is doing a remixes album on blue and yellow vinyl. This is something that I didn't even know existed. Um, me and my dad pretty much have every single Amy Winehouse album and all the exclusive editions of them. And I literally love Amy Winehouse. She's an incredible artist. This remixes album looks sick and it's just another one to help complete the collection. The second release that I'm interested in. Now I've already got Got Disclosure Energy on vinyl already. I bought it last year from their website. It's not my favorite album of theirs by any means, but there is a picture disc coming out and it does look sick. So I might, if I see it there and I like the look of it, I might consider purchasing it. Obviously, I don't know if you guys follow my TikTok, but I did a video on picture discs and they can be okay. They're nothing too crazy. They are quite cool to look at. 50 years time when I'm still listening to Disclosure, it might be cool to look back on this vinyl. So yeah, I'm just gonna give it a look and see what I think. The third pick is the 84 version of Pinata. Um, I mean, recently I got the, I think I got the 74 version. It's called the exclusive cover, but I'm not gonna lie, I was so underwhelmed to just see that it's literally the same album just printed on black vinyl. I already had an exclusive pressing of this before. Once this got released, it got released widely as well. I'm, I'm probably not gonna pick this up if that's the case. It didn't say on the website whether it was Record Store Day first or Record Store Day exclusive. I'm gonna give it a look. If I like it, I might get it. Now the next one is one that I'm definitely, definitely trying to get. This is probably my number one want of the whole Record Store Day. And that is the Notorious B.I.G. The Duet. So obviously if you follow my Record Store Day videos thus far, there's a playlist, I think it should be up here, might be up here, of all my Record Store Day videos. So make sure you go and watch those. But at Record Store Day drop two, I think it was, I really wanted the Notorious B.I.G. box set. I did everything, I queued up really early to get it. Luckily enough, I was the first person in the store. They only had one copy and I managed to get it. So I have all of his albums 
on vinyl except for the duet so i was so glad to see this come out on vinyl and i'm definitely going to try and get this colored vinyl plus a seven inch and it's limited to a thousand so a nice exclusivity to this one and lastly is a bit of a meme one shrek the soundtrack on slime green vinyl which is sick i might see what it looks like see whether i can be bothered as much as it's an iconic soundtrack it's not one that i'm too crazy about so like i said if you want to check out any of my other record store day videos from last year and all the ones coming in the future i'm going to have a playlist it should be up here and you can check out all of those videos so lastly the thing to check out is the opening times my local record store day starts at 9 a.m uk time bear in mind if you're in a city i've heard from a few of my followers I think Nottingham, Bristol, Cambridge, those kind of areas, you basically have to get there like early hours of the morning. I'm talking like 3 a.m. They're also going to have more stock, so you have to bear that in mind. My local record store opens at 9 a.m. I think when I queued last year, we went at 6 a.m. That's how early I went to try and get what I wanted. 6 a.m. It was crazy, but I was first in the queue, and people did show up not that long after us as well. We had chairs and stuff, so. That is another tip. Make sure you're comfy. Get chairs. If it's cold, maybe bring a blanket or something. Their stock was less, so you have to bear in mind I had to get there as soon as because I knew that that would go. Make sure you know the opening times. Plan out your day. The night before, make sure you know when you're going to leave. Make sure you've got all your essential items, got something to eat in the morning, ready to start your day even earlier than a regular day. So there you go, guys. Just all my tips. This is just from my experience of record store days before. I hope that you all get exactly what you want. And definitely leave a comment down below letting me know what you want to get on this record store day because i'll be intrigued to see whether there's something i missed or something and make sure you leave a like down below if you want to see more record store day content definitely going to be doing a video on saturday of my experience so be excited for that and make sure you're subscribed and thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one bam <laughs>